Hello there you guys again welcome to another one of my live videos and yes as I updated you on my last video about some um, more latest news a uh, few more stuff has currently updated since my last video as you can see on my main headlines the players I'm going to be discussing with you mainly in this uh, discussion I'm going to be discussing with you guys anyway so we'll first we start with James Rodriguez as I said it's been stemming for quite a while uh, a lot of teams have been heavily linked with James Rodriguez um, Liverpool have been in there, AC Milan have been in there, Chelsea have been in there, we've been in there, but basically, you could tell after that Real Madrid game, he didn't want to be at Real Madrid anymore, he wanted to move on, but he's insisted basically for quite a while that he, he does, he's told Perez, he's told Real Madrid that he wants to make a move to Manchester United, he's very versatile, very good in the air, he's got an absolute wonder of a left foot, and basically now according to reports, he's just... Uh, Jose Mourinho, Jose Mourinho is one of his main, Jose Mourinho's main priority, and um, he hasn't been one of his main priority. I said I'm not fully committing to it yet. I'm not fully convinced about that, but um, yeah, um, and there'd been a bid for AC Milan. Um, I think they'd put a fifty odd million pound bid in or whatever it was, and it was accepted by Perez or whoever it was or George Mendes, I think, but James Rodriguez um, declined it because he didn't want to go to AC Milan. I think he wants to come basically to experience the Premier League and he thinks Manchester United will be the team for him and according to reports I've just read now about James Rodriguez that Manchester United have willed to put um, a £70 million bid in for James Rodriguez and they did set a price tag in Real Madrid if we want James, James Rodriguez around about was it £60 um, odd million pounds. so we could get him now and he'll dramatically improve us you know as we are lacking depth and that you know in uh, certain key areas. But as I said, very good in the air. Last season, I think he scored around 11 goals or something and 10 assists, was it? So that's pretty impressive. Did I don't, I don't think that he also participated in the Champions League final also. But we have been linked to him for quite a while and he's, he, he insists he wants to make a move to Manchester United. And that's latest news about him. There's been latest reports anywhere, guys, about this uh, Middlesbrough player. He's a, he's a, it's quite a surprise you know, look out from Jose Mino. He's, um, if I don't pronounce his name right, I'm sorry. He's 28 year, is he 26, 27 years old. Um, he's currently a Middlesbrough player and um, he's Dutch. Um, look at that. He's, he's um, Dutch and um, Jose Mino's been talks that he could end up, um, he's a sense defensive midfielder as well, that Jose Mino could end up putting a £10 million bid, bidding for him. As Jose Mino insists, he has caught his eyes. I've just basically read up about some of his stats. I've just looked it up on the latest reports, guys, about this. Um, yeah, £10 million. And, um, he's, he's praised him and admired him as Jose Mino in the 3-1 game with Manchester United and Middlesbrough last season. Um, he caught Jose Mino's eye out and he thinks he would be good um, for Manchester United. Um, but he plays for Middlesbrough. I think he will struggle. You know, he's, he'll... He'll struggle at a big team. I, I don't think he'd be basically right for Manchester United. I've just basically looked at some of his stats. Um, last I think overall since 2016, he's made 33 appearances and scored four goals. And I think last season he made like three. Was it three appearances? I think he made two in the FA Cup also. And I think he scored one goal. And I don't know if he got an assist. I can't rightly remember. But there's been talks about that anywhere, guys. About that. Um, He's called Matt. I think he's called Martin D. Rune or something like that, guys. I can't really pronounce his name. Let me know, guys, in the comments below if I've pronounced that guy's name on. But I have looked at some of his style of play. Um, he's supposed to be. He does hold the sense defensive midline very, very well. He likes to do layoffs. He is good at holding that line. He's composed when he's onto his game. He's a good ball interceptor. I think he is quite. I think he's quite fast as well. So. Um, yeah, he's got some good things about his game I've just currently read about. So, um, do you think he'd be ideal for Manchester United? We've looked at, a, you know, a catalogue of um, players this summer. We've looked at quite a lot of midfielders as well. There's also the latest news about this speculation um, that's been going on for about a week. Um, according to reports, this has been fully announced now, guys. Um, he's called Triore, I think, the ex-PSG player. He's, he's really young. Um... I think uh, uh, Manchester United have agreed on it now that he will be coming to the youth academy. He'll be playing the first season in the youth 
and then he might work his way up through the ranks to get into the first team maybe the season after. I think he's signing a three-year contract or a four-year contract. Is this a young kid? Um, I've never really heard of him to be quite honest with you. I've just um, looked on the latest news about it that Manchester United uh, are fully announced that they've um, got that young young Triari on the board and that's fantastic news because it will uh, bolster our youth academy up a bit so um, that's very good news as well. Also about uh, Avro Marata, they're still it's been basically accelerating since January twenty sixteen. You know, I told you a fifty two point five million bid had been rejected, a sixty million bid had been rejected, but he's physically good at going around defenders. That past experience as well with Reno and Pogba is very beneficial. Also he's had the regular starts at Real Madrid and he's basically we need that essential number nine role. He's basically the, the, the main target to get in that number nine role and he'll participate well with um Maratta. But I think it I think basically there is still they're in negotiation now. I think they're in talks about uh the negotiating about a possible fee that's gonna be put out for Manchester United. Manchester United are basically willing, I think, to pay up around about eighty million pounds, even though I don't think Maratta's worth that, but they're willing to pay about eighty um, million pounds for Maratta. My phone needs charging. And also, as to go back to the trial, I think he participated in an under-17 game against Burnley when it was 7-0. It was like a trial game or something like that. I think he scored in that game as well, did um, Triari, but um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But there's been, anyway, um, with Avram um, Morata, they're, they're getting talks because um, basically Perez uh, did say um, there wasn't... They wasn't fully negotiated. There wasn't negotiated with Mata, or there were no negotiations going on with Manchester United or Real Madrid, as I told you earlier. That's what he basically said. But Real Madrid need to get basically a player off the board, you know, because he feels unsettled there. Basically, to raise these funds to um, get Keelan and Mbappe in, and that's what they um, basically need to do. But he's very clinical. He's Mata. He's very good at going on the fence, as I said. I think we need that finishing asset as we didn't have last season and I think he can score you goals when he gets them regular starts that he will get guaranteed under Jose Mourinho and it uh, will happen. I'd be absolutely ecstatic if we got the likes of James Rodriguez. I think we could, I'm not fully convinced, it's been like a yo-yo Rodriguez, it's been up and down, you know, for absolutely weeks so um, we'll have to see what happens about that. The f uh, I think them. Let's have a look, basically, more, more news, guys. Um, and as I told you guys, yes, about uh, Martial has clar uh, clarified um, his future. He's fully announced it. That um, What he did, I absolutely praised him and admired him for what he did. You know, he pu public, you know, publicly going out, on going out on Twitter, you know, and said about these rumours were absolutely false. And he's put a um, knife in this uh, speculation, and he's announced this as false, so that he's just I'm praising him and admiring him for that about that. Uh, Monaco 2015, we got him for 36 million. I think he still needs to improve on his game, as he got praised and admired off George Mino for one of his absolute fantastic performances last season against Burnley. But he's only young and um, he's one of the world's most expensive teenagers. So he's only young and he will progress uh, more up the ranks as he keeps playing under Manchester United. And um, Yeah, but I couldn't see him going anywhere. I couldn't see Jose Mourinho sanctioning Antonio Martial because um, he's crucial there when you need him. He's crucial. And he does need help and support as well. So um, I, didn't, I knew he wouldn't go anywhere. Arsenal put forty million pound. Oh, there was talks around forty million pound, but um, I just knew he wasn't um, going to go Antonio Martial, and he's basically slammed the Arsenal transfer rumours on Twitter, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and he's pulled cold water on the speculation as well, so it looks like he's not leaving, and he will be here next season with Manchester United. So. Let's see if there's any more news anywhere, guys. And he made, I think he scored nine goals last season in 45 appearances as well, did Antonio Martial. Um, yeah, he did. We're 
the Fabinho, I don't think much else, guys, is updated about Fabinho, but... Um, as I said, he said to Brazilian TV, what's my squad role number? And he also said it's a tempting invitation. It does look more than likely it could still happen. We could be still in the pursuit of getting uh, Fabinho, even though if we get Matic, which looks more than likely now. I think that's around about a £40 million bid, though. He doesn't, I said Matic, Chelsea reject, only started in four games last season. He's got that high advantage. He has got some good physical attributes about his game. But he's weak in a lot of parts of his game. He's quick in some axes. He's slow. He's easily predictable. He has a lot of reservations about his game. And he basically, he wouldn't be my number one choice, really, at that sense of me. But also, Fabinho can play as a right back as well. So, uh, yeah, I must see. There's been. Let me have a look. We'll have to, um, let's see if basically I'm going to go on Matic now, see if it's all updated more. Because I think he's due a medical, I may have had the medical. I'm not quite sure about this guy's about matches. I don't rate him at all, though. <laughs> he's basically looking to strengthen the team, is Mourinho, but... Um... There's more latest news update, I think, about Matic. I'm just going to have a quick glance at it now, guys. Um, let's have a look at this. Is this fairly announced? He's looking to complete the deal for the Chelsea stars, Mourinho, but remains keen on Red in Monaco for versatile midfielder ace. Double trouble. This is according to the Sun. Manchester United won't for being no despite landing your man your matchage from Chelsea at Jos Mean looks to strengthen the squad. That's according to the Sun that I've just read the main headlines out. So yeah, it does um it does look like for now guys that um Matic is coming now through the door. Um but I think Mourinho will be still in pursuit of getting for be uh Match is coming in, so it looks like Mourinho will be still in pursuit of getting um, Fabinho on the board. He's very good, very good in the air. He's got experience also, he's got talent. You know, he's proved himself at Monaco, winning La Liga, progressing to the Champions League semi-final. He's very versatile also. And, you know, he's absolutely fantastic. And he's got a lot of good physical attributes as well, and that's what we need, a player of that calibre at Manchester United. Matic is nowhere near in the same calibre as Fabinho. Herrera, push yourself up more, mate. You played well in the sense defensive mid last season, you know, when you had that line well, but I think you better pushed up forward. Pogba's good when he's set free. He's very creative, very good on the ball. And he holds the line well, to be quite fair. So, yeah, and also with nine goal, and I'd be absolutely fantastic with nine goal. And um, any package we can offer him, I'd love him, the likes of him to come at Manchester United because he is a box to box player. You know, he's, very t he's a tenacious midfielder. He's got a lot of good physical attributes as well. I've read some of his stats. He's got a fantastic passing ability. He's good in the air. Very aggressive, very precise on the ball. Um, and he's very tenacity. And, and I'd like the likes of him to come to Manchester United. Um, nine goal and probably does beat them all, basically. I think him and Fabinho, it's a bit hard to really say, but... Uh, yeah, um, we'll have to see what um, happens about that, guys. But we have got um, we've got the US tours coming up, and we have got a play on the board. But I should expect by Sunday that Manchester United, as I said, will have a player player or two on the board at least. Um, I said with Lindelof, it's important to get you always get your first play on the board. I said in transfer windows, negotiations do take time. 
And, you know, Lindelof has a few reservations about his game, but he's achieved well at Benfica, and you want a player that's achieved well at a team, and, you know, who's got um, some good physical attributes, but he does have some reservations, I'm going to be quite honest with you. But I think he'd be a fantastic centre-back partnership with Arik Bailey, to be quite fair, guys. Um, so, yeah, Jose Mino's looking to feed into our history, basically. That's what he's basically doing. He's got that winning pedigree. He's proved it with Chelsea. And he's uh, he's got the big club arrogance. And I always had trust and faith in him, you know, even when he comes to Manchester United, you know, last season. In the first five games, Jose, everyone were calling Jose Mino out, Jose Mino out. You can't say that, you know. Even if you've got that big club arrogance, it's not always easy to deal with a squad. That's basically a lot of the squad's Van Gaal, so... You've got to give managers time, as I said. But he did have a successful season. Won the Europa League. You know, got the League Cup as well. And got the Cuban Sheet if you want to count it. But we had a better season than Arsenal, in my opinion. I did like what Tottenham last season. They scored a bag full of players and grit. Played absolutely fantastic football. But still basically had a better season overall. So, yeah, and we had a better season Liverpool as well. So, um... And Manchester City in in, in put put them in the equation as well. So um, yeah, all I hope now is we're still winning trophies. I just want us to be more consistent. I want us to, to if we don't win the league, I want us to be at least challenging for the league title. That's all I want Manchester United to do next season. And we've got the money to do it. We get the right players in. You know, there's no excuse why we shouldn't be um challenging for the league. The caliber, the players that we could be getting in. But as I said, I expect by Sunday that um. We should be um, getting a couple of players on the board at least. And um, I am um, about the youth. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going to be happening with the youth guys. Um, I said Fossil Mensa could go out and loan somewhere. Maybe Pereira could go out and loan somewhere. Pereira actually might get the chance in, in the US tours, especially. In, um, also with Fossil Mensa, we're not quite sure about him, guys. Um, I said Carrick in that midfield is a good backup plan also. I think Manchester United are going to keep that number seven role vacant for the time being because, um, well, from a commercial point of view, they wouldn't want to keep it vacant, but I think they are going to keep it vacant unless someone else gets it. Um, we've been adamant of a few players that may get it, but really, they're not coming to Manchester United. So we'll have to see what happens. And also, can I just say, guys, um, I was reading something earlier about uh, Manchester United Missing out on a certain starting eleven since 2013. The players that we have basically, basically missed out on. Um, I think I was on ESPN. I had, I had a look at it. But um, if I can get it up now, I will uh, tell you guys about it. But if I can't, then I'll see what happens. I think we've missed out on Ronaldo in the past before. When he left, we went after him then. I think that was, was that in the Moyes era or Van Gaal era. I think we've missed out on Bale in the past. We've missed out on Ramos in the past. I can name quite a few, but... Um, I am gonna have a I am gonna have a look now, guys. So um, I'll just go on the SPN that we have basically missed out on quite a few players. Um, ESPN, right. If I can't get it up, then I'll try. But if I can't, then I'll have to. <laughs> Just getting it up now, weren't I? I think my bloody um, work there. I think my bloody um, oh my fucking e sig man. What the hell? I think this chat is dodgy on my phone. It's doing my nutting in, but um, yeah. Um, so it keeps me there. I'm just gonna have a look now. Um, Manchester United. There we go. Um. If I can't get it up, I just read about it on my phone earlier that we'd missed out on um, so many players from 2013. 
There we go. I've got it up here. Someone posted it. Um, that Manchester United. United start 11 have missed out on target since 2013. I'm going to have a look at this, guys. Um, um, it's just loading up. It does take a while. Um, for God's sake. It's doing my head in his ass. So there, there's lists here that with uh, Mr. Allen's Ramos, Cruz, Griezmann, among those those players that we have basically missed out on since 2013, and we've missed out on Griezmann this season as well. So I think we've looked into Navas in the past. We've looked into the likes of Danny Alves in the past as well. Uh, well, he's got the 11 here, to be quite fair. Well, it's on Navas, Baines, Ramos, Hummels, Alves, Fabregas, Cruz, as I mentioned, Bale, Griezmann, Ronaldo and Muller. Basically, the four players that... Um, I think it was Edward who had four dream signings, as I told you guys, um, as I told you guys about before. Um, I think Muller were there. I think... Um, Yes, Ronaldo was there, I think. Um, Neymar was there, and um, I think Bale was there as well. They were basically before Ed Woodward's dream signings. Um, I don't know if they are now. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Gareth Bale. Uh, I think Real Madrid, the last report I read that Real Madrid were willing to um, let him go for some reason. They're willing to let him go. He is injury prone, but he's Galactico. He's very skillful. He is very, very good in the air. And he's, he could be still available down the line. I don't know if he's any intentions of leaving Real Madrid, though. I'm not quite sure, but he's Premier League proven also, so that's an advantage for us as well. And he's a Galactico, so that's an advantage for us as well. Um, also, yes, I think Liverpool have currently signed Salah. Uh, I'm going to be honest, um, I have watched him. He is, um, I do fear him when he's playing for Liverpool, but he is a good player. He's ve he's ve he's, ve he's got good German pace, so he is a pacey winger. Uh, that will definitely bolster Liverpool's squad. I think he net, did he net land about 19 goals last season, if I'm pretty sure about that. Um, yeah, so um, we'll look into some more news. Um, to be quite fair, um, there's been mention of Liverpool or someone else about this Keith player um, that's come on the cards in the equation. Um, so if I can look more into it, if I can get it up. Then we can have a discussion about it. Come on, PS4, what are you doing? Oh, it does my head in this PS4, guys. I swear, it does my absolute head in. He really does. My e is not turning on. Yeah, but like I say, um, I want Fellaini to go in the summer. I don't think I don't know if he will be going though. Um, Yanazai, I presume he'll be going to Real Sociedad. The last news I heard about that. Um, Ashley Young want him to go because he he doesn't wear his advanced position is anymore. He's played at left wing back. He plays as left mid. He's played at right mid. I think he's played at right back as well. So, I presume Smalling will be going as he received criticism last season. I just don't um, think he was good enough. Smalling. I think he did play fantastically well in Europa League final. Also to um, Fellaini did also guys. Um, so basically. I think Dembele is still available down the line. I think he's favoured to go to Barcelona. Um, I do like him. He'd be in the top two, top three, as I said, when Messi and Ronaldo retire. He's just absolutely unbelievable player to watch. Is Dembele. I've watched him for France. He is a, 
very very good as well. He's been I said he's been praised off Pogba as a um, Dembele for this. He has been um, praised and Mbappe as well has been praised also. Um, what to see? Um, he wants to move to Barcelona Madrid or City does this uh, Kaita whatever they call him um, he is on here um, the uh, RB Els Pig midfielder Kaita would love to play for one of the very big clubs this is the report but has had made heavily touted suitors Liverpool from a list of dream destinations. The feature Premier League rivals Manchester City. Um, yes, it tells you his goals here, so I can have a look at a bit of his stats now. Um, even though I'm not interested because Manchester United are in for him, but I'm just going to look anywhere. Um, the Gunners start enjoyed a stellar campaign after swapping Real Bull Salzburg for Leipzig in the 2016 close season. He scored eight goals in 31 bundle league of appearances. So that's not um too bad. That's not too bad. Anything else to it um look at? Um I think there may be something else to look at as well. But as I said, I think Morata and Mourinho have also been discussing as well because they are looking for the reunion also. So I think they are um, being discussing with each other what's going on about that. Um, the unrealistic targets I've already forgot about, as I mentioned to you, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, not happening. Um, what's the other one that's not happening? Robert Lewandowski, Ronaldo, not happening. One of his reasons not happening now. And... Um, Harry Kane, that's not happening either, as I said. Just in the existence of the news agents, as I said, I ignore all that rubbish because there's no reason why the hell Harry Kane wants to leave Tottenham. He's a line like Tottenham, leads the lines well, scores a bag full of goals. You know, why would he want to leave? He's Tottenham no intention of releasing him. He's no intention, from his perspective, of leaving Tottenham. So why have these reports come up saying, you know... Mourinho's interested in Harry Kane. You know, we know he's not going to leave Tottenham. They're in Champions League as well, you know. So are we, but they're playing much better football than us at the moment in time. You've just got to be um, quite honest about that. Um, is there anything else about... I think there's currently a match on now... Um, I can't remember what match it is, but I think there is a match on now. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys, anyway, that's basically everything to um, update you with, guys, as I usually do. Um, as I said, Rodriguez could still look like that's on the cards. I'm not fully committing to it. Fabinho, I'm about 80% now. It's gone down a bit because basically he's still in the pursuit of um, Fabinho. He's Mourinho. Probably the Matic deal won't affect the Fabinho case because Fabinho is keen on playing under Jose Mourinho. And also, Rodriguez... We're all adamant that he does want to make a move to Manchester United, and I think we've offered seventy. We've put according to reports, we've offered a seventy million bidding, as I said, and I think that well, it should be that offer should basically be accepted by Real Madrid, and that basically should come to Manchester United because there was a price tag of sixty odd million pound that they wanted for James Rodriguez. So that basically um could happen as well. Nyan Golan could still happen. I think a forty million bids be being in for him as well. I think last season, 41 goals, 41 appearances, 13 goals as well. I'd, I'd love nine goals, and he's a fantastic box spots player, as I said, he's very tenacious. You know, and we're lacking depth in that midfield, and we need, he'll, he'll dramatically um, improve that um, midfield as well, so um, he'd be fantastic. As I said about even Perisic, guys, um, I think the deal's currently off now, and it's dead, basically. Mate, Jose Mourinho have, may, may have more intentions on... Um, Bernadasha. Oh yes, as I got mixed up on my last video, guys. Um, 
I said Josmini is looking to get more experience in the team, more experience. I think um, even Perisic, um, is he older? I think he's older than um, Bernadasche. Yes, I might be right about that. So he may have the more experience because I think he is older. But I, I just think I think the comparable. I think they have do have similarities, but I think Bernadasche just beats him. Because he's doing well for the under twenty ones as well, and I've watched bits and bats of him at um, Laventine, and he's he's got a good genuine pace, and um, he's very very fast on the ball as well. So we've looked into a catalogue of players. You know, Mourinho has got that experience, and he will get the players that he wants in in the summer. So there's no need to panic. Fantastic news, as I said, Martial staying. Rashford not ready to lead the lines just as yet. Um, I presume Zlatan will be still going when his contract expires, which I think is over the weekend. I can't see him sign another short-term deal. He might end up signing another short-term deal. I'm um, not quite sure about that, as he did lead that line last season. So, um, yeah, guys, and Rooney, I still want him to go. James Rodriguez did say he will. He would operate in that number 10 role. Rooney's currently in that number 10 role. We need it, especially if he leaves. I think he's nothing to offer. He can't develop himself anymore. And, um, I think it's time that Wayne Rooney um, has to leave the club. He's had his years. He's the all-time top goal scorer, so we can. His credibility for that is um fantastic as well. But um, I just think he needs to move on, go find somewhere else, and um, we'll see what happens. But I think basically going into next season, it's going to be interesting to see how um Jose and Mourinho lines up. And I actually do think Nine Goal and the way going back to the top development of him, the way I've watched him, I think he could be um the abs the absolute flourish of um Manchester United. So um. Yeah, why we can't go through this, we'll have to see. I think he's still got a contract with Roma, as I said before, guys. Um, and yeah, then, um, we'll have to uh, see what um, happens about that. I presume David De Gea will be staying, to be quite fair, guys. I still think Real Madrid may have an interest in David De Gea. They've been interested since 2015, basically, you know, with that fax machine. Went down nil, the transfer down and they went to a collapse. And then there's been loads and loads of talks about bids and, you know, staggering amounts of money that's been offered, a £60 million bid have been rejected. Then Ronaldo and Morata come on an equation for the deal with uh, David De Gea as well. There's been loads and loads of talks about it, and then all of a sudden Real Madrid are cooling their interest, then they're regaining their interest as well. Um, I still think deep down they may want um, David De Gea still, um, but I still hope he's here next season because he's been here in the Moiser area. You know, he's risen up the ranks at Atletico Madrid as well when he was there. He's been in the Moise era, the Van Gala era, and now the um, Mourinho era. And we know we will fail, in, as, I as I said to you, since 2013, the players that we've missed out on, that is absolutely a lot of players. But um, Van Gaal bought average players in his region, in, his, in, in the era of Van Gaal, he bought average players. Di Maria were one. I thought he performed well in some games against that, when he got that chip against Leicester, but I just, don't like his attitude. I thought Hernandez was fantastic. I thought he had um, five great years at Old Trafford. And he was absolutely a good, fantastic goal scorer. I think he's performing well for Bayer Leverkusen as well. I did actually like Depay. I don't think he was glad to go, but I did like Depay as well when he um, performed in that uh, number seven role. So, um, yeah, and also back in the Moyes area, I, I think he bought for Laney and uh, Mata. I do like Mata still. I think since the injury he was off colour, but I think before his injury, you know, he was very clinical, and I think he's very consistent when he gets them run against Mata, because they're the ones that like to play for the shirt. Does matter in that um, he operated well in that number ten role last season. So I still do like Mata, and I highly rate Herrera as well. Um. I do like. I still like Carrick, even though he's aging up. So he's good as a backup. I liked. I I was. I very ecstatic with Mkhitaryan. Compare him to Perisic. Mkhitaryan's way higher. Plus, we got him for twenty eight million pounds. I think it was. His Europa League form was absolutely um, fantastic as well. Was um, Mkhitaryan's last season also Romero put a good shift in last season. Our second choice keeper did well in the Southampton game. Also was fantastic in the Europa League as well. But, you know, uh, yeah, but as I said, we will succeed in this chance for winning the guys and um, just wait to see what happens. And hopefully the match is deal. 
I don't think it's fully announced. By Monday, they said it was going to be basically fully announced on Wednesday. Um, I think Morata could be basically any time now or maybe tomorrow something. It's going to be fully announced, as I said. Um, they're still in full negotiations of what's going on about that. Um, but he's just had his honeymoon. He's been he's had his wedding. Congratulations, as I said. I think he's had his honeymoon. He's rushed back from his honeymoon because he's desperate on um, making a move to Manchester United. As I said, Real Madrid don't want him to go. But I'm still very, very confident that he um, will come to Manchester United. So there's no need to worry, no need to panic. It um, will happen unless something nearly impossible happens and he goes and makes a bloody U-turn with the persuasion of Perez and Real Madrid basically wanting him to stay there. But um, he, will, he does want to play for Manchester United. He's told Jose Mourinho on that. Um. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens about that. Um. Anyway, um, as I said... Um, what we're going to say now, um, Rooney needs to go. I said Young needs to go. Left back, I don't. I'm, I, I have slight concerns, as I said. At the left back position, I think we need. And basically, we do need an essential left back. Um, we've looked into Ryan Sessignon, we've looked into Mendy, we've looked into that uh, Jordi Alba as well as I told you his stats before, guys, also. And at centre back, I think we're fine. Daily Blinds, can it? If we don't sign left back, he could even get left back. Could Daily Blind as well? Uh, I do like Blind. I thought it was a bit off colour in the Celtic figure game in semi final, but I thought over the majority of the course of the season, last season, over the course of the last season, I thought it was absolutely fantastic partnership with uh, Eric Bailey at the back. And um, yeah, I do like Daily Blind. I do. He's very composed at that centre back position. And I absolutely love Eric Bailey, and I said him and Lindelof um, will be um, absolutely um, fantastic there. So, um, but I'm confident going on to next season. I am confident going on to next season. We're going to get the players in. They're all going to combine well with each other. You know, players that want to come in, they're going to play well under Jose Mourinho, and we will be challenging next season. I just want the Premier League back to Manchester United. And look at Rashford, basically. What's he won? You know, he's won the Europa League. I think he's won the League Cup. I think he won the League Cup, won the FA Cup. I think all he has to do now, basically, is Marcus Rashford. He's probably win the Premier League Champions League, and it's absolutely fantastic for Rashford. That was one good bye by Van Gaal, so I will praise that, uh, Louis Van Gaal for that about um, Marcus Rashford also. Anyway, guys, um, that's enough for me, Blabby on. I hope you enjoyed my time and company today. Drop a like on the video, as usual, and uh, take it easy, and I'll see you later. Bye.